Turn it up, mm. turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Let's get it. Let's get into this food, man. Let's get into this food. Channel. I went to Roof Chris, reviewed it, and I thought the place was extremely overrated. The fork was dirty. The lobster was cooked. And whoa, whoa, whoa. The fork was dirty. Already? We, we, we got to pause it already? Come on, man. And I thought the place was extremely overrated. The fork was dirty. The lobster tail was overcooked. And overall, it just wasn't a good experience. But a lot of people have been commenting and telling me, Peace, you got to try Del Frisco's. I've never been there before. They're saying it's 100 times better than Roof Chris. So we're going to shoot over there real quick. And we're going to see what's up with it. So hey, already, I would be mad. Like, I would be mad if I go to a restaurant like Roof Chris that's that you, you like $120 a plate and the fork is dirty. Huh? They got to get some better um, employees over there, man. Em companies are just missing not on employees over here, man. This is crazy. Let's go ahead and skip ahead. Stuff lately, as y'all see. But yeah. So I just got to the Del Frescos, and it's real calm vibes. Y'all see what's going on. Nice so I'm place. This joint right now. And as you see, they got all the stores out here. We got the Dior right there. Right there. Hermes right there. All them jumps. Nice little vibe. So these are all the cities that have Del Frescos. Naturally, we have the Washington DC. Oh, they got one in Orlando? I'm A. I'm I'm here. I'm here in Florida. I might do, should I go? Should I go try Del Fresco's? Del Fresco that Should I go try it, guys? I mean, they got one right here in Orlando. Might as well, right? I think I think I might put that on the list. I might I might go with WSP. Um the homie Willie. I might I might go with him. The location, but this is all the locations that got it. So for my beverage, I went ahead and got a Shirley Temple. He said that they made it with uh, Sierra Mist, not Spike. I'm sorry, I meant Starry. You, 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 y'all know they changed the name, y'all. It's like a Starry. So the bread just came out, Ooh. and as y'all see, this bread looked buttery as heck. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if this is the icing on it or is butter. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a fork for these, y'all, because this don't look messy. Y'all, you know, we gotta look at the fork. Y'all, like the roof the fork was dirty. Grab a little piece of this bread. So the bread not bad, kind of sweet a little bit. It's not icing, but it looks like icing. I look at it. It does. Look how thick that butter is. And what is that? Ugh. Definitely some decent rolls. Okay. So once again, although it's a fancy establishment, you see, Peaks is heavily underdressed. You guys, you know, just a calm, cool, and collected day. We're treating this exactly the same way we treated Roof Chris. You feel me, like? Same vibes. We just chilling. Kind of wish I didn't sit outside. It's kind of hot out here. I'm sweating a little bit. But we we're gonna skip over to the food. Let's see what the food is talking about. Let's see, because if this if this is a place that I I may go to, I want to see what they got at least. Let's see what kind of visuals they provide. Let's see. Like I don't know. Big Pharma making the money, bro. Oh yes, thank you. Oh, they got a salad. Trying to be salad. healthy. All right, mm -hmm. so this is what the food looking like, y'all. Okay, as y'all see, I got a fillet Oscar style right there. All and right, I also got some lobster mac and cheese. Lobster and mac, she's got like a Caesar salad. Here goes some truffle fries. Right that here. Caesar salad better not cost $20, man, because I could have made that at home. Like that Caesar salad, it better not have cost 25 or more dollars. Hey, not even $10, it should cost at least $7.99 at the most. If that's a $25 salad. I got to have some meat on there. I got to. Ain't no way you paying $25 for some regular lettuce from the tree with some cheese on the top. That tree, that, that cheese better be, I don't even know how much it costs. I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah. Let's see what these truffle fries are tasting like. A whole lot of truffle on them. Let's see. They good? They crispy. Crispy? They're not as good as the truffle fries at Gordon Ramsay Steaks in Baltimore, but they're definitely good. Steak came out. It's not sizzling like at the uh, group. Chris, remember when that steak came out? It was sizzling. It sounded like I ordered a fajita, my G. Like, it's right here. It's not giving me that fajita, you know. Thank you. I appreciate you. Got the plastic silverware. Y'all see, look, I can touch this plate. 
I can touch it. The other one, woo, blisters on the hands. All right, y'all, let's see what's up with this lobster mac and cheese. Y'all see a whole bunch of lobster on top of it, super cheesy. You see the cheese pool? That's what it's looking like, y'all. Cheese pool, everything. <laughs> like a seafood alfredo doesn't really taste like uh, mac and cheese it's like alfredo it's oh. good though okay I like it it has breadcrumbs on top the breadcrumbs are nice and crispy they give you a decent amount of lobster okay that's great it's good hey okay. i can get down with it okay have lobster mm. it's good it's not crazy hot it's, it's like warm but it's good. So here go and look at the steak. Okay, it's good. You see, we got the steak Oscar style. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. The steak at Roof Chris was, was good as heck, bro. Like all the side dishes and stuff at Roof Chris wasn't good. I didn't like that. But the steak was good. Like I said, it came out it came out sizzling. Wait, he has a plastic fork. Oh, he's scared because so of Roof Chris. Damn, so for medium, this is looking more like well done. I see like a hint of pink on it, but not a whole lot of pink. Real crisp steak's better. The reason why this okay. is better, like, it was nice and crispy around the edges. It was a perfect medium steak, bro. Melts in your mouth. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Lays hit. Nice and crispy on the edges. Melts in your mouth like butter. It was just good, bro. All around. I did not get my, my Ruth Chris steak Oscar style. The reason why I did it is because last time I ordered a Ruth Chris Oscar style steak, all they did was like give you a couple pieces of asparagus. They put a crab cake on the side and a steak. That's all it is. It's not, not like this. It's like how Eddie V's look. Didn't know it came with like, what is this, Hollandaise or something? Not really a huge fan of Hollandaise. It's not bad, but Ruth Chris is definitely better as far as the steak. But the sides here are way better than Ruth Chris's sides. And this lobster mac right here, here. This shit looks gross. They look, it looks like super duper soggy. It looks like they baked it. Not, mm. So I'll probably take my <laughs> steak home, y'all. You know, like kind of good off it right now. So out of nowhere, wow. y'all, all these bubbles started coming out of nowhere. You see them? It's like a Disney movie, but look, it's getting the food. Damn, it's endless bubbles. It's nice. Oh, wow. You like that? I don't want this in my food. Yeah, they can slip on your food, bro. So I'm leaving the Del Frescos right now. And I hate to say it, but like, I really wasn't that impressed with it just because like, I went there for a steak. The roof crisp steak was better than that steak. However, the size, they were good. You feel I me? Mean? Like I said, the lobster mac and cheese kind of reminded me like of seafood Alfredo. They didn't really taste like, you know, mac and cheese. How'd you feel about the food? Um, My salad was really good. You like the, the salad? The Alfredo, what was it? Lobster was good. <laughs> you know what? About like, um, you know, restaurants in different cities that are, are like a chain, you can't really... You know, you can't really, I'll say it depends on the, the chef. Like sometimes you might have that chef that knows how to make a certain thing, right? And then a chef that don't really make it good as the next chef. So with that in mind, it, it kind of, you kind of put it in, in perspective of like, it might not be the restaurant himself. It might be the chef. The chef is the one that cooks it. So, you know, if the chef is better than, if one chef is better than the other, then maybe one of the restaurants might be better in the other city. You know what I mean? Like if the re if the chef in Orlando is better than the chef in Pennsylvania, then the chef in Orlando will, will make the restaurant seem better, you know? So a roof crisp over here down south versus up north, if they got the better cook down south, it's going to be better down south. So, may so maybe not the restaurant itself is a terrible restaurant, but at the same time, when you pay for that quality, you pay for the quality, and if you don't get it, you're going to be disappointed. So I'll say that about that.